Hey people, this is Mike Jr. the second. This is Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. And right now we're in Victory Road, which is uh Yeah, not the best place on the Pokemon universe or whatever. Um Victory Road actually doesn't bother me that much. Probably mostly because my Pokemon aren't that well, we aren't that weak, really, so... I mean, you don't have to have weak Pokémon not to hate this place, just because of the strength puzzles. But, yeah. Figuring out this place isn't too hard. You just gotta... Eh, I just say go with your gut. You're gonna have to use your head, though, to figure out some of these puzzles, because they will try to trick you, trust me. I don't think I've actually failed in any of the strength puzzles in this one. Like, even if I did, I skipped it, but I don't think I did. So, yes. Anyway, and here is our first trainer. Oh, they're called Cool Trainers. You saw one back in the um, Vermilion Gym. And, um, yeah. They usually carry a variety of Pokemon. They don't carry, like, one type like some of the idiots out there do. I mean, always having one type isn't going to hurt you too much. Because that's what the Elite Four do, sadly. But still, they act, they're actually smart and go, Hey, let's have different types, too. It might actually help us out. Ooh, Rare Candy. Good thing we picked that one, huh? Another Cool Trainer. Exactly how good. Trust me, if you can see how good I am, you wouldn't even challenge me in the first place. So you are a fucking liar. Raticate, really? Raticate is usually, well, Ratatats are usually the normal land Pokemon. Zubat's normal cave Pokemon, and Tentacles are the normal sea Pokemon. Usually. They're more of like the annoying Pokemon. Almost messed up that puzzle there. That would've sucked. Having to go in and out of these places would just be a pain in the ass. Skip through that guy. And... Sandstorm! Zenstorm is kind of like Rain Dance. You got it for five turns, if I'm right. Except for it hurts every Pokemon who isn't a ground, steel, or rock type. I could be wrong about the rock type, though. So, yeah. It doesn't do great damage, but still, it's something. Drowsy? Yeah, we've seen Drowsies before. Another fighter. Pretty much the final test. Not like too challenging though. I mean, all you have is the same kind of strength puzzles over and over again, along with high level trainers. Full heal, that's nice. Um, yeah. Ooh, a Pokeball over there. Let's see if we can skip. Yeah, we skip past this guy. And hail, not a great move. Just like Sandstorm, but with, you know, Ice Pokemon doesn't get hurt. There might be others, but I really don't care. Ooh, we're gonna have to fight that trainer to get that Pokeball. I bet it's something. Whoa, 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 child prodigy? You think I'm a child prod- Really? <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, yeah, we've seen you before. We're gonna skip it, and what's the item? Ooh, a max revive. That is worth it. Okay, so... Hmm, what do we do now? Let's go over here and fight this trainer. No, no, go up, Michael. Up. Up. No. Ugh. I'm gonna hit you in a second, Mike. I'm gonna hit you. Slap you across the face a few times. Show you. There you go. Eh, I guess so. Maybe just to make themselves stronger, though. Not really for challenges. And just because I'm not gonna be showing too many fights in here, I am going to show this one just for the hell of it. Clefairy? Yes, you're gonna kick with Clefairy's ass. Super effective! And what do we got next? Dugon! Yes, we're gonna have to switch out. Oh, we don't have to. Actually, if we kept out Primate, we still could have done some damage, because um, Dugon is a Ice Water type. And Ice types don't like Fighting types. But our electric moves are way stronger than our fighting moves. Actually, I think Cross Chop and Thunder do about the same amount of damage. And he's out of there! Yeah. Jigglypuff. Yeah, we've seen a Jigglypuff before. 
actually, why didn't she evolve the damn thing? It'd be a lot more useful. Usually, um, Wigglytuffs and, um, Clefables know a, can learn a lot of moves of a good variety. Kind of like, you know, Kangaskhan, Licky Tongue, stuff like that. Critical hit, nice. And if I'm right, Mama Luigi actually has the strongest attack in our party. It's like a hundred... Last time I looked at it, it was like 125, which is a lot. Persian? Yeah, another normal type, so we'll take it out with, um, Break Break. The thing to know about Persians, though, you might not know, is that they're pretty fast. They'll probably beat you in a race, so... If you're really low on health and you can't take just a little bit of damage, don't go for it. Chansey! We actually haven't seen a Chansey before. What good luck to find it when doing a trainer thing. And, ooh, that is a dramatic fall of health. Yes. I think usually when you do a lot of damage, for some reason it goes slowly like that. I could be wrong, but still. That's what I saw back in, um, when I played Saf um, my old Sapphire game. Every time I did, like, a mega fuck ton of damage, it just, well, it wasn't real, real big, but it just kind of slowed down like that. Anyway, we had a, a rock or whatever block our path, so we have to put this over it. And it's gone now. So you can see how those work. Damn, you got some good eyesight. Well, actually, no, you have normal eyesight, because some people can't even see you from too far away. It's like they're half asleep or something. And you. He has a Kingler, which we haven't seen before, but for some reason I skipped it. I don't know why. And yet, I'm showing a Seedra, which we've already seen before. I was kind of stupid when I did the editing, but... Yeah. Don't feel like going back and fixing it. So deal with it. <laughs> if you don't like it, you can unsubscribe and leave. Wait, wait, no, don't, don't go- Ah, damn. No, I'm kidding. So yeah. Anyway, Seedra's out, blah, blah, blah. And yes, Blastoids. Eh, yeah, we've seen too many Blastoids before. Oh, really? I'll show you how good you are. <gasps> no! Honestly, you're a bitch. Bellsprout, yeah. But we've seen a Parasect before. Parasects really aren't that strong. They're just... They know a lot of different kinds of powders, like sleep powder, you know, stuff like that. If you want to use that usually for catching Pokemon, be my guest. But yeah. Don't worry. You're still partially a good trainer, lady. Not. Yeah, I had to pull that joke. Okay, what do we do now? Okay, we really didn't have to move that rock. Actually, I don't know why they do that. I mean, is it trying to help you get out of the place easier or what? I don't know what that's for. But whatever. Anyway, now we got a boulder down here, which we're going to push over to another one of those circles. Yeah, it's taking a while. Actually, shouldn't our bike be breaking? That'd make a lot more sense. Ooh, double battle. We're so going to like this one. Yeah, sorry, I don't think the Indigo Plateau allows double battles. Though that would be partially cool. If they did, like, two segments. Maybe one just for fucking around. Either way, now we have Blaze and Jabs in battle. Now we haven't seen Jabs' new move, which we got from Giovanni. Earthquake. We are so gonna show that one. And why I have Blaze on outside as well is because Blaze is a flying type. So that means it won't be affected by ground moves. But trust me, these two will, and they will be fucked up. Trust me, Earthquake is a great move. After you get Daith Badge, you get Earthquake. I don't care if you don't have a Pokemon that can learn one. Get rid of one of your weakest Pokemon, throw in a ground type, and teach it Earthquake, because it is so fucking worth it. And yes, Cool Cup. Wait, is this are they called Cool Couple? That's weird. And now we're... <laughs> they actually let us skip the last fight. Wow. But yes, kind of like the Rock Tunnel, I do not like Victory Road that much, so... I mean, I'd probably hate Rock Tunnel more, just because I have worse memories with it. But yes, now we're at the Indigo Plateau, and we have some of the greatest music you could be listening to while walking into this place. I love this fucking music. 
great with suspense. And now we are in a huge Pokemon Center slash market slash gym. Yeah. <laughs> so yes. So we're gonna heal up, of course. Um, I did save, because after you enter the place for the Elite Four, you cannot leave until you either are defeated or win. Yes. I actually almost had problems with this game. I couldn't save again. I don't know why. Because I fixed it in the very beginning, but it just wouldn't help me out later. And we're going to be buying, buying a crap load of full restores, um, full heals, and revives. Because that's what you want. And I have a shitload of money. So I can actually splurge my ass off right now. So trust me, that trick I showed you, it works. And I discovered that out of nowhere, too. So yeah. So we're going to be fighting the Elite Four soon, people. Hope you guys like it. Because it is going to be fun. <sighs> oh, man. We're here right now. Getting ready to fight the Elite Four. It took us a long time to get here. We had to defeat all eight gym leaders, obtain their badges, and move on. We couldn't have done it alone, though. From the beginning, we had Blaze. Sooner or later, we got more teammates on our side, like the Tourette's guy, Jabs, Zaps, Mama Luigi, and Starstorm. We, had, we even had others, like Bugs and Vaporeon, to help us along the way. They helped us defeat all challengers and trainers alike, and even the ruthless Team Rocket. Time and again, we had faced a challenge to pass and overcome on our travels. Yet, even our weakest teammates helped us get past them. Now, we have one more challenge to face. Four more trainers, each stronger than the last, and all of them the strongest we have ever faced. Everything that has happened has led up to this moment. And today, I feel lucky. <laughs> 